All right, so here is an update on the local forest seeds that we popped. Little baby seedlings. And I'm just pulling my tool before I grab it. And that one you can see. Very nice size. So we're gonna transfer these ones to a hormone drop media as well to see if we can get some more roots to come out. the seedlings over and the callus I'm going to put in a separate container. So they're super tiny but they do have some root development already starting. Let's see. These were Put into tissue culture in January, actually. Um, and it's quite normal for seedlings to develop at different rates. Um, they're very unique in their structures. These are from seed also, so they're all different. Um, but they have very unique characteristics. So, sometimes that um, differentiation can slow down the growth. Alright, so it's crazy. They're the same age. But the babies have roots, and these larger ones do not. So they focused more on apical growth, while the other ones focused much more heavily on complete development. See, there are still some big boys in here. Put them together on this one side. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to do this until I have them all together. There's about 80 total seedlings that I will be putting in this container. Now that they've, they're already on um, subculture seven. I've been moving them a lot. So I know they're clean, so I'm not worried about any of the other ones contaminating the other seedlings. And if they are, we will open it up, rewash them, and put them back inside me. So it's not a problem. Right. You can see the diversity in the structures and the sizes. I'm just going to keep going along and you'll see next time. Thanks for joining. Oh, actually, I did want to show you this callus. So, do you see how it's falling apart? That's known as friability. And it's a good sign that it's embryogenic, especially because it's green and it has a lot of trichome formation. This fuzzy stuff that you kind of see that look like crystals, those are trichomes. And trichomes are where 
cactus usually put a lot of their merry stems. So hopefully this will turn into a ton of pups, just like the Asterias do. So this callus is gonna be subcultured in a different section. But I just wanted to show you that. And never throw away callus because there's so much potential. And thanks for watching.